to take a pop. Welcome back everybody. Uh, as you know that we've been renovating our new house and changing up a lot of things. I have not really been filming a good video and a good flow of my renovations lately. So uh, here's a quick uh, run through of what we've gotten done these past like three weeks. I'm just going to fast forward them. You guys can watch them all real quick and then I'll get you to what we're doing today. So here's what we've done during the meantime. Today uh, we had a company come out and clean our vent system which needed to get done so now we have all clean vents and on top of it the last time they came um, a lot of our vents actually weren't fully together so the guy told me if I went out and bought some sheet metal uh, he had everything else that he would need to kind of help put in place some new vent system for us um, put the metal in cut it place it in so that it actually flowed with our vent so I just wanted to kind of show you guys. So here's one of our vents. So he actually cut these four pieces out, let it run through, tape it together, and put all those in for us just for free. Didn't charge us extra or anything. So obviously we gave him a tip for doing all that work for us. But um, it was nice that now that these are all done, it's not a thing to worry about. It was a thing that was on our list. Now it's off. And we're replacing all of our old vents with these. That's the first thing we're gonna do today is replace the vent covers, change out some blinds, and see what else we can get done with the house today. Next house project, conveniently, on a day where I said I was going to do these videos, somebody had a house project come in. It's me. So, we got a new kitchen faucet to install this one. A little dirty all on the edges. 
So we got a nice huge one to install. Looks like I'm opening up like a gun case or something. All right. Something new. Still haven't done this. Haven't done this ever before. So one of the very first things I saw when I looked online was make sure that I turn off the cold and hot water. And the guy's voice said, "You'll know why if you don't." So hopefully those are shut off correctly. I tested the faucet. There's no water coming out. That is a win in my book. I installed the new faucet and I don't see any water leakage coming out of the bottom just yet. So we'll mark it down as a win for now and we'll see for later. Um, probably the only other home renovation thing for us to get done today is our bathroom blinds. Um, I'll probably change that out. Nothing too big. Uh, I do want to kind of explain things in the, pre the earlier in the video that you saw that we did and reasons why we did it and what we're planning on in the future to change and do. What do you think, the yo? Uh, oh. All right. The next thing I want to get done is I did most of the flooring in this room but I left this spot because it's a little more difficult, but it's time to get it done, other than to keep looking at it not being finished. That is one unfinished project done. Uh, the next project, quick knockout right here, is just fixing these blinds. Um, as you can see, they are busted. I actually switched, these ones were in our bedroom, and Milo tore up those ones one of those times when he escaped out of our house. So I moved those ones to the bedroom and put these ones here. But we got all new blinds anyways, we're switching them all out. This is the first one to go. Now time just to install two more of those real quick. Another check off the list. The night is coming to an end and what I want to do right now is just show you guys what to expect in our other renovation videos and stuff that we still need to get done. Uh, first, the third bedroom. Um, we still haven't done anything other than just destroy it and store it with boxes we have not got through yet and a lot of my tools, I'm doing a lot of my cutting. In this room and that's what this main room purpose but I do want to get the floor in here. Um, this is our one room with the air conditioning unit that the previous owners left. So it would be nice to kind of have this room. Milo likes laying in it. So it is something that is on the agenda, is to get the flooring in on this room. 
and clear it out obviously of all this junk, undo a few of the boxes. A lot of it has a lot of our wall decor that we have not put up yet. So that is on the list. This is another bigger project that we have to get to. Um, as you saw earlier in the video, we had that table there and we took it out, got rid of it. Chelsea mud, the big hole that it left right here as you can see down the middle of the wall. And our idea now is to just get some more, uh, why do I want to say cabinets? What am I thinking of? Cabinets. cabinets. That's why I'm thinking of that. Have some more counter space. One of the cabinets that'll pull out, we're hoping to have the garbage in. Because right now we've been putting it in the laundry room behind the door and it's a pain sometimes to get to it. And Milo is always searching in there. So it'd be nice to just have something where the garbage is covered and no access to it for Mr. Milo. The next uh, is flooring in the kitchen. Still have these carpets covering up the subfloor. The old floor out from underneath the fridge. The fridge was having a hard time pulling out because of this molding right here. So probably gonna have to take off the molding and take all the flooring out that's underneath the fridge. But that is almost done. But we've had carpets there and rugs for about a month. And Chelsea loves the look of them. She loves them so much, but she wants them gone. <laughs> so that has been on my agenda. I'm over it. She's over the unfinished projects. So a part of what's over here too is gonna be an open pantry. That's another project. <laughs> yes, so we have the cabinets and then right shelves. Shelf, 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 shelf. Too many. Too many. Alright, but shelves, open shelving. I forgot to say that. Also, we haven't painted these walls yet. Chelsea said she might try to do that tonight. That would be in the next renovation vlog. Little sneak peek. Last big project. It's not an in the house project, but hopefully I don't get bit up by mosquitoes. The last project we want to do outside is we want to start doing a fence. We looked up, got some few quotes from companies for fencing and they are ridiculous. We would never be able to afford that during this next few years and we want to fence before winter if we can. So we looked it up. Um, we think it's going to be possible for us to do it. We're not going to do anything big. So what we're going to do is on the side along where our neighbors in the between us right here or along here is we'll have wood posts between every, I don't know, six feet apart from each other. We'll figure that out when we start to do it. Um, and then we're going to put a wiring fencing um, that's thick enough so that the dogs aren't going through it, obviously. And then along the back of our property where all the woods are and all these trees, we are going to just put T-post, which will blend in with the woods, and then put a wiring. So just we'll have it looking nice for in front of our property and then by our neighbor's house. Um, we'll have it looking good there for them and for us in the front of the property, but along all the woods and the grass, we'll have the T-post and then that fencing. But we need to get some kind of fencing up and that's a cheap option for now when we figured we could always go back and revamp it up if we need. But the dogs need some more freedom. We need to stop getting all tangled up in all their chains. We need this, they get caught, then we need to come out farther to get to them. It's a real inconvenience. So that is gonna be one of our big projects that if anyone's had any um, tips for us, comment them below so that when we go to start this, we hopefully don't screw it up too much and we have dogs that are contained in a fence. But that's about it for this video today. <clears throat> I know that I'm gonna try to get better with uh, putting these videos so they're actually in an order and probably explaining a little more what I'm doing as I do them. But I didn't wanna get too much ever into that because I didn't want you guys to take exactly what I'm doing and do it as in like a how-to video. But it is something that for beginners to understand, like I've made plenty and plenty of mistakes as throughout this whole process, it's still going on now. And start getting a little better at it, but I'm gonna go inside, time to get the girls to sleep.
and we'll come at you with some more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you.